Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shama Krishnan, psychiatrist working in health services. So as part of World Mental Health Day, I uh, thought I would like to give a small talk on depression. Uh, so we know as per because of the COVID pandemic situation, we have uh, rising uh, depression cases, not only depression as well as many other psychiatric illness as well. Uh, so how do we know if a person is suffering from depression or what are symptoms uh, uh, one can present to you with? So most often they come to you with uh, low mood, lack of energy, loss of interest, having uh, difficulty sleeping, decreased appetite, uh, difficulty in attention and concentration, having low levels of self-esteem, a lot of pessimistic views about life, uh, uh, thoughts of self-harm or uh, severe suicidal ideas. And if these symptoms usually last for a minimum period of two weeks, you diagnose an individual to have depression. So, uh, in not in all cases, uh, like in severe depression cases, you do not need to meet the criteria of two weeks. So, uh, what are the risk factors for developing depression? So, any individual, be it children, uh, be it adolescents, be it middle age or elderly, are prone for developing depression. And there are certain risk factors in the form of like those with uh, having a family history of depression or any psychiatric illness or there is a suicide history in family we are at risk for developing depression and those suffering from uh, chronic medical conditions like diabetes hypothyroidism also are at risk for developing depression and apart from that even those uh, having a history of substance use or any other illicit drug use in the form of like alcohol or cannabis or also at risk and similarly, uh, those who are suffering or undergoing uh, some sort of social financial stresses or crisis can develop the same. And uh, personality factors do play a very important role. And, uh, and of course, not everybody has a, a, pre a predisposing or respecting factor, but some individuals have no factors. So, in such cases, you call it as endogenous depression. So uh, in this present situation, we have very strict modalities. We have both uh, pharmacological as well as non-pharmacological non methods. And in uh, non-pharmacological modalities, we have uh, the most commonly used is cognitive behavior therapy. And various other psychosocial uh, social therapies have been utilized with very good efficacy rates. And similarly, in the pharmacological modality, various drugs uh, spectrums are available and all have very good efficacy rates. And either uh, these both are combined or it might be used individually based on uh, each individual symptom profile cases. So what are small things that can be done from our side you know, to prevent uh, the chance of developing depression? The most important thing is maintaining a very good uh, uh, healthy and lifestyle. Especially always try to maintain a regular eating habits, regular exercise, regular sleeping habits, very essential. And exercise, we can be just even a, a short walk, uh, etc. But always a half an hour walk, etc. Always stick to it. Do not give up on those activities. And always do uh, keep up uh, or make a small time for things which you love to do. Always try to find time for that. And uh, always keep connected and stay connected with your uh, loved one, loved ones. And always share your difficulties or your whatever your feelings or thoughts that's going on around your mind. Share with the loved and trusted ones. And it's important that we to have a, uh, a, a and it's most important is we too are willing to hear what we have to say. Very essential. And uh, try to always stay away from the substance use, as in drug use like uh, alcohol and cannabis. Try to stay away from them and maintain a very healthy lifestyle. And most important is if you're finding it difficult to make a step ahead or you think you need help uh, or you're encountering serious suicidal ideas, always do seek mental health professionals' help. Do not hesitate to seek their help. And I hope all of you uh, find this talk a bit useful and I hope you all stay positive and stay healthy.